Where in the world is Brendan Shanahan? Were you shocked he didn't speak on locker cleanout day on Monday? And are we just waiting for that shoe to drop when it comes to Shanahan and, and some type of announcement here, Rosie? I don't know. I don't read that much into it. I mean, you got to clean your lockers out pretty quickly after the season. Um, you've got, I think they want to make moves quickly and, and make some decisions. They don't want to wait all summer, but they do have all summer. And for Shanny to come and sit down, he's going to have to, you know, expected to tip his hat one way or the other, or else what's the point of even talking? So I can understand if he has not made a decision or doesn't want to lean either which way, why he wouldn't come and sit down. And, you know, what would be the point of that? He doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't, there, all he's going to be asked is, are you going to extend do best? Are you going to keep? And he's going to be like, I don't have that information for you right now. So why bother sit down and, and field all those questions and waste everyone's time? On the other side, everyone seems to think that there's a hammer about to drop because he wasn't there sitting beside Dubis, um, yeah. you know, saying one thing or the other. So yet to be seen, but I mean, the amount that people read into it thinking that that definitely means he's about to drop a hammer, I don't really get, I don't really understand, or, or I don't really lean that way. I think that he wanted to take his time and there's no information to be passed on right now. So what is he going to go and sit and say on Locker Cleanout Day? I guess that's the peculiar thing for me is like in recent years, he's been right there beside Dubis on the final day of the season where everybody meets the media. And this time around, he wasn't, which leads you to believe something's happening behind the scenes. And granted, maybe it's because of the whole Kyle Dubas situation, what he said on Monday, him taking some time. But they need to make a decision really, really quick here, right? Like it's got to be in the next 10 days. If you really speed things up and you activate sort of these no trades, if you want to call that July 1st, like uh, the draft's coming up. Like they have some big time decisions to make and they got to figure out one way or another what's happening with the coach, what's happening with the GM, right? Yeah, I'm kind of thinking, uh, you know, around that early June, the first week of June is probably a time to maybe do that. Then nothing's rushed. You can kind of go over everything. You can have your meetings. You can get the input of the, the ownership and everybody else and you can get everything on the table. I mean, the last thing they're going to do is rush an announcement or rush a decision, but yeah, you'd think sooner yeah. than later here that's going to come. But again, the fact that it hasn't come, um, you know, before the day the guys haven't even get their shit out of the locker room and he's going to sit down yeah. and make that, I, I don't put much stock into that. I think there's there's not that big of a rush to get it done. But again, time will tell, right? But I don't know. You, anyone can read into it as much as they want. I just I just don't think it means as much as maybe people are thinking.